Reynolds Homebrew. Coming at ya. Ooh, what do we got today? Oh. <laughs> we got some good stuff here. Today, we are in the holiday spirit with Ale Smith, bringing you the Yule Smith. Yes. The Yule Smith uh, is quite cool because they come out with two versions. They come out yeah. with a winter version and they come out with a summer version. And uh, we got the winter version. Of course, it's called their holiday ale, but it is a imperial double red ale. Yeah, so imperial slash double. Yeah. And and uh, whereas the summer versions, uh, like an imperial IPA. Yeah. And this is an imperial red. Uh, so it's boasting at a fantastic 8.5 percent. All right. Wow. Okay. Well, in our glasses, this is nice dark. It pours with a nice. Two finger head, maybe two and a half there. Two finger, two solid finger head. Yeah, nice, uh, nice uh, off white, maybe almost, almost a light tan head on this. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know if you can really tell, but we'll we'll yeah. give you the best shot we can. It's got like There's a not light a big barley light wine us. look to it personally. Yeah, yeah, it kind of does. Yeah. So time to get a nose on this one. <laughs> time to get a nose. It has a red smell Ooh. to it, but a barley wine smell to it also. Wow, and it also has kind of an IPA-ish smell to yeah, it. Yeah, it does. Because I'm getting a lot of fruit. Well, I smell, I don't know about mm. you, but like, I feel like I'm smelling some tropical fruit and some uh, uh, mm -hmm. grapefruit also. Yeah. You know, it... Just smells like a really nice IPA to me, with some red. You know, a little bit of yeah. a red to IPA side. Really sweet aroma. Get a hint of like uh, orange, orange marmalade-ish kind of direction. Um, I can get a, a hint of the yeah, I get, caramel I get, malts. Yeah, in I there. get a hint of that. I feel like my head stopping it from the... Yeah, it's like the head is, is like stopping not allowing me to get flavor. as much of the aromas I really want. Yeah. Oh, smells... I just barely got this from the store, so it's nice and fresh. It is nice and, and it's fresh. Gonna have, it's probably going to... I can tell it's going to have a really nice hop character. I get some floral yeah. hops and so forth coming off it. So, what do you say? Yeah. Cheers. Ready? Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. It's got some nice pine and kind of maybe spruce to it. Yeah, kind of like when they do the spruce tips in some beers, like the holiday kind of thing. Yeah, it has a great red taste to it also. Wow. There's just a lot going on. This is really a fantastic beer. Yeah. It does. It really does have that little bit of spruce, some kind of the pine, resin kind of things going on. You, but you almost get a hint of breadiness still. It's mm -hmm. like... Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. You get a lot of the caramel character coming through. Well, you can definitely tell it's imperial. Oh, yeah. And it's got that, that resin... It's got the hoppiness to it, but it's sweet. I do get a little bit of like a, not as strong as some, thank goodness, because I don't like when it's overdone, but a little bit of this tea. Well, it's flavors. the earthiness to it almost, mm -hmm. you know? It's got an earthiness to it in there, which is good. I always like that. But yeah, kind of that tea hoppiness. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, which, which is nice. All right. So, um, other than that, we got our flavors out. We're enjoying it. We are enjoying it. So, um, an Imperial Red. Time to rate it as an Imperial Red. All right, I can do that. This is a really, really tasty beer, I have to tell you. I think it's just, personally, I think it's a really well-balanced beer. It's a well-balanced beer. It's very well done. Um, and... Um, it's funny, the herbal tea aspect, uh, I've said this probably before, I like that, but mm -hmm. 
sometimes I think it can be overdone and, and it's something that kind of hangs with you and builds. The, for me, the, the reds that I compare against are ones that you all probably can't really get. And there's, there's these reds from Laurelwood Brewery local that just I do I going to say anything. <laughs> fantastic reds. Yeah, I was. And and you know, as as good as Ale Smith is, wow, they need to all come up and compare the reds to our local uh, one, which is Deranger? just fantabulous Deranger and Free Range Red. So, uh, both organic. Yeah, and, and just simply amazing. So, uh, I'm digging on this a lot, but Having had a few other reds that are better on the Imperial, I'm still going to rank this pretty high. I'm going to give okay. this a 93. This is a really good red. It really is in the exceptional range for sure. Uh, I, I think you nailed it. I feel the same way. It's about a 93. It is a really good red ale. They well balanced it. They've got good flavor, good maltiness. Mm -hmm. They've got enough thickness in there. She even has for, some creamy for texture. tongue. Yeah, they got creaminess. Mm -hmm. It's it's well done. I think it's great for an imperial. So for overall, it's really a good beer. So I think I'm going to hang pretty close to my original rating. I'm going to just go down a couple notches um, to a 91. That's really funny. <laughs> so that's exactly where I was going with this beer. It's like, I think it's great. I still think it's in the 90s as an overall beer. Yeah. I think it's a 91. Okay. It's got great taste. It's so smooth. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's just, like, like we said, well balanced. Yeah, really you know, well balanced. It's a good red. And this is one I could drink over and over again. Yeah, yeah I could definitely do this a time or two. So if you haven't had it, really consider going out and getting it. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I think this is probably distributed fairly well. They couldn't say for sure. We don't get a lot of stuff from Ale Smith, but we sure did get this. The Yule Smith, the winter version. Yes. So from Clement's Homebrew, life is too short to drink cheap beer. And we'll catch you on the next beer review.